Hi guys and welcome back to another video. As promised in the last one, uh, I did say I was going to replace the pit guard on this Harley Benton base. Um, as you can see it comes in a tortoiseshell finish, but I've actually bought a black replacement. I think the replacement, Harley Benton official parts, I think it was about £12 probably about $15 um, so I would attempt to fit this hopefully it shouldn't take too long I think the first thing to do would be to loosen the strings not sure if I'm gonna have to take these off or if I can get around just loosening them so ha having owned this base for a few days it actually plays really, really well. There's only a couple of issues that I've found with it. One of the frets just here has got a bit of fret sprout, uh, which just needs falling down. Frets do need polishing, and the fretboard is mega dry. Um, I've got some lemon oil, so I'll act, I'll, while I've got these strings loose, I'll actually oil it as well. All right. These are floppy enough. One thing with learning how to play the bass, not that I'm the best guitar player in the world, it's actually totally different. Really hard to play. Kudos to all you bass players out there. It's not as easy as you think. Going from a guitar thinking, oh yeah, four strings, piece of cake. Not a chance. No way is it. Hopefully this will just pop straight off. This, thanks to Wesley Webb, this is a Music Nomad Octo Octoplus spanner. It's got all the spanners that you might need. I think these are about £15. Um, it's got a spanner on the end there. And the screwdriver pops out, so you've got a flathead and a Phillips. I mean, the flathead is good for prizing off prising off the knobs as you can see here so let's just pop it up there without doing any damage hopefully so just pop it under the knob and it pops off no allen keys on the side of those ones and you just find the right one it happens to be the M one you can just undo the pots as well. Easy as that. So keep hold of the nuts. Obviously you don't want to lose those. Look at that. Easy when you know how. Like I say, this is the first mod that I've done to this. I actually quite like the pickups in this. I did think about upgrading to a Seymour Duncan. I think it's a quarter pounder um, but the price of them is about the same price as the base like I said in the previous video this is about I think it's 88 pounds um, from Tommen in Germany the Harley Benton are the house brand and they are doing really big things I play Chapman guitars usually like I say I'm predominantly a guitar player and I've always had Chapman's for probably five or six years now um, mainly play the ML2s um, which is just my favourite shape the single cut um, and I sold my Epiphone Les Paul Black Beauty with the three pickups actually sold that because oh, I couldn't get on with it prefer the Chapmans the older Chapmans the Korean made Chapmans I've seen I've I found those a lot better than the Indonesian ones. I had the, the latest ML2, uh, a white one in a previous video. Um, one second, there's someone at the front door. Sorry about that. That was my next door neighbor. He locked himself out. I had to give him his front door key. Right, as I was saying, the Indonesian Chapman's, yeah. I couldn't get on with it, so I sold that and I bought uh, another one of the old ones. Uh, and I much prefer them. I just feel the build quality is a lot better. And 
pickups sound a lot better. Yeah, I could have swapped them out, but why should I? Right, let's get the rest of these off. I'm hoping this will just lift off. Do I have to undo the pickups? No idea. We'll soon find out, won't we? Right, there's all of those. Will this just lift out? Yes, it right. There we go. Can't oh, I missed one, look. Always the right, you always miss one. This little screwdriver will be handy to keep in my pedal board bag, just in case I've got to do any maintenance while I'm out and about. Okay, let's just pop that pot through there. Oh, that's it off, look. See, it's shielded on there. Oh, I thought the cavity might have been shielded, but it's not. Oh, well, it's a job for another day, shielding that, isn't it? <sighs> Let's blow this. Give it a dust while you got this cover off. Okay, there's my neighbour just put up the keys through the door, look. Isn't it great when you've got good neighbours? Right, let's get this bad boy on then. I'm going to say 12 quid. I think it'll make it look a bit better. I like these satin black finishes that Harley Benton have been doing. I looked at the Telecaster style they had, uh, but it actually sold out already. Um, like I say, Wesley Webb, check out his channel. Absolutely cracking YouTuber. He is a big supporter of Harley Benton guitars. Um, and he has got some great videos on there about how to mod guitars, um, some demos of gear. Um, yeah, he's just an all round nice chap. So go over and subscribe to his channel as well. I went to this one as well if you feel like it. And you can see more guitar based stupidity from myself. All right, this is easy, pop the pots through. Obviously you've got the third one for the input. Do they need washers on? Oh, dearly, really. Well, yeah, they're gonna be covered by the knobs, aren't they? Uh, all right, just finger tight for now. Let's get that through there. Find the nut. Just finger tight and then I'll tighten it up with the old Music Nomad tool. Can you see that all right? Tell you what, having sausage fingers doesn't help. There we go. Right, finger tight. Let's slot it in, said the vicar to the nun. All right, just make sure that your jack input is turned so that you can get it into the cavity. Okay. I'm hoping these holes line up because it is Harley Benton scratch plate. Well, it's a bit tight. A bit too tight. Okay. Just about get it over. Oh, just about matches up. Don't know whether the holes do though. But first glance, I don't think some of them do. Now, that would be a bit disappointing, wouldn't it? I think being the same make, it'll all match up. But they don't. Now that is very disappointing. As someone commented in my previous video, the first thing I was going to do was change the scratch plate and I'd be making a mistake. Even the jack hole doesn't line up. Look at that. Now that is a big disappointment. So how are you supposed to replace it like for like? When it doesn't even match up, you can't even get the jack. Look at that. Can you see? It catches. So how are we going to get around this? 
maybe I could put the jack there and put the tone. I don't think the tone pot's going to fit in there anyway. Okay, let me pause this video and work out what I'm going to do here. I might have to grab my drill and I might have to drill some more holes as well just to get this bad boy on. Right, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so with a bit of jiggery pokery, I managed to get it to fit. So basically, I attached the input jack, the tone pot, the volume pot, just loosely. Put that in first and then kind of fettle it over the pickups and over the neck pocket. Um, sort of an it fit. But we've still got the same issue of some of the holes not lining up. I actually did a comparison and it's completely different. I don't know why. Why would you not just use the same mould when you're making the plastic to make these spare parts? I don't know. Anyway, it's not to me. So what I need to do, I need to put in the screws that actually fit just to hold the pit guard in place like so. Um, how many are there? Only one. Christ alive. So the rest need to be drilled. So I've got the tiniest drill bit I could find. I think it's about two mil. Next thing we need to do, because I'm not going back to the tortoise shell. I'm not a massive fan of the look. So... Don't mind doing this because it is. Oh, that one actually fits. That one fits. It is actually a cheap instrument. Now, if it was a Gibson or something, you'd be like, nah, I'm not drilling that. Who's this? Price point, 88 quid. Don't mind if you get it wrong a bit. So I'm only learning the base. So it's a great starting point base to try. Let's get that in. I can't believe how many there are to do. There'll be a lot of you out there going, no. But, you know. My base, my money, do what I want. So, hate is gonna hate. I'm just filming this. So that if you fancy having a go yourself, you can. That's what it's about, isn't it? You're only here once. It's not a practice run anymore, mate. All right, I'm not gonna drill, or I'm gonna do this by hand. I'm not gonna use that because no more I've got bloody screw right through the base. So, Someone said about splitting the lacquer, but it's a satin base. You're not going to split shiny lacquer on a satin base. So, right, blow up the holes. There's my other neighbour. God, don't ring the bell, please. Right. This one go in. Just about. In the next video, I'll do a demo. I have been practicing, but like I say, it's a lot harder than it looks. And going back from a bass to a guitar, totally weird feeling. The guitar felt absolutely tiny in my hands. It felt like a, like an Ibanez Micro or something. And I've been trying to do it finger style, not using a pick because I think that Cliff Burton is the best bass player that ever lived and Cliff Burton style, that is superb and that's how I want to play. Not that I'm ever, ever going to be as good as that. Okay, if I can, get these done, I don't mind me waffling on. I will. My daughter's going to edit this for me, so she might just fast forward this bit. 
and like time lapse it sort of thing and put some music over it so you haven't got to hear me waffling. Like I say, it's a very lo fi guitar channel. So I'm just an old chugger, an old dinosaur who's been playing guitar since he was about 14. I'm still no good. Okay. What I'll do is I'll end the video here actually because i can screw them on without filming it but let's have a look at it oh god hit the curtain thing yeah it's got a plastic cover on it let's try and whip that off as well asmr that's the one satisfying videos people love that stuff don't they here we go I'm actually going to change the strings as well. I've got some Ernie Balls coming today. Good old Amazon Prime. I'll make Paul Preston love the Prime. Right. It looks all right, actually. I like that. We'll get the screws popped in. And I'll get the uh, fretboard oiled. If you want, I'll record that at the end of this, actually, and just show me doing it. I know it's a painted, or well, it's an amaranth fretboard, and I've seen videos where they've wiped it down and all the black comes off. So um, we'll show that as well. Let me get these screws on and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> that was a headache. Um, they didn't give you enough screws. There's one more hole in this pit guard than there is in the tortoiseshell one. So part of me thinks, do you know what? Why did I bother? I should have just left it the way it was. But no, I want it all black. Right. So all holes are drilled. Everything's back on. All the knobs are on. They're easy just to push back on. Um, just make sure they're all turned up because what is the point of a tie knob? I never use it anyway. Okay. I was going to file down some of the hole, but I managed to get it to fit. So I didn't need them in the end. All right, let's just move this. And let's show you, move this down, if it will, and show you the neck. Okay, it is mega dry. So ideally, I should take off the strings. Let me just go and find the lemon oil, one second. Okay, I'm back again for about the millionth time. Okay. Stop me being lazy, I've actually taken the strings off. Um, let's get a baby wipe, just to wipe it over and see. I like to just clean it up. The frets could do with the polish as well, they look a bit dull actually. I like, like I say, I like a baby wipe just to clean off any gunk that you get. There's actually no black coming off, which I have seen, like I said previously on these Harley Bentons, on these Amaranth fretboards. Okay, 20 frets, like I say. Give it a dry with some kitchen roll. You can buy all fancy stuff, but this works just as well. Okay, this is the stuff I use. Where is the camera? There it is. The Dario Lemon Oil. It's brilliant on your fretboard. Just make sure your fretboard's clean and just put a couple of drops. Mind you, I suppose a bit more on a base because it's bigger. I'll just put a drop on each fret, shall we? You can do a couple of coats if you want. It just conditions the wood. Not like painting a fence, I suppose. It just rub it in, it will soak in. Looks better already. There's a bit of black coming off. This is mega dry, this is gonna need this is gonna need more oil on it, I think. 
You can get the lemon oil from places like Amazon. What doesn't Amazon sell nowadays? Right, I'm gonna put a bit more on. Quite a few tooling marks on the fretboard. But you know, again, for the price, you can't complain, can you? You get what you pay for. Right, let's just rub that in. Okay, that's how you oil a fretboard quickly. Okay, I'll pause the video and then I'll get it restrung and I'll show you the finished article. Okay, final shot. Here we go with the pit guard fitted. Actually looks really nice. I like the black on black. Um, yeah. Bit of a fettle. Just trying to get it all fitted and I tell you the black really shows up every fingerprint every mark but you know what can you do yeah really nice really nice base this is a um, couple of things that are invaluable when you're doing little jobs like this um, this WD-40 um, I always spray that on the electrics Especially on the Chapmans because they've got really dodgy electrics. I just, I just wish they hadn't scrimped on the electrics on there because every time you change the toll switch, every time I go to band practice, I always have to spray it. Just that's it there, WD-40. Don't worry about spraying on the electrics. It does dry. You're not going to damage them. Uh, and this bit of kit here from Music Nomad. Uh, can you see it on the... Music Nomad, that is a superb bit of kit. Well worth 15 quid and so small just to fit into, like I say, your gig bag, pedal board bag. Yeah, not a bad little project. Sorry the video's dragged on, but I do like to waffle a bit. But yeah, stay tuned for the ne next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.